Hey guys, in today's session we're going to be focusing on the upper body using functional integrated movements using a Swiss ball, weight plates and flexi bar. Okay guys, the first exercise we're going to do, we need to grab your flexi bar, holding the bar like so, just going to show you side on, I'm going to go down into a squat position and arch our backs. Okay, cool. If you'd like to set your clocks to 30 seconds, grab your bar and get flexing. All right, Jay, so if you bend your knees, arch your back, bow forward, that's it, get nice and low, and pushing out from there. Really is a great exercise, guys, for the glutes and lower back. That's it, guys. Take control of the bar, don't let it try and lead you. You will feel really wobbly, so where these core muscles are working very, very hard to keep you in this position and stop you from falling over. Okay, 10 seconds left. Good, Suze, nice and low, that's it. Keeping in that position. Five more seconds, that's it, just keep your head down. <laughs> and everyone relax, fantastic. Good job, morning, you all right? <laughs> well done. Excellent guys, so the next one we're going to grab the weight plates, so if you'd like to pick up your desired weight and holding the plates like so, fingers and thumbs through, like this little grip here, we're going to go into this position and we're going to lunge out and perform a curl, which is known as a hammer curl, so turn to the middle, over to the other side, missing JR, I'll show you again. Hey, grab your weights, give it a go. All right, Suze, let's see you move. You ready? So, pick a side, lunge out. That's it, so guys, just note that the foot what you um, leave there stays forward and the other foot goes out, keeping the knee over the toes. It's a real great all-round body movement, this one, incorporating the upper and lower body. Coming down, that's it. Good, Suze, keep it nice and upright as well, so we're using those back muscles to keep us upright. Good, going for around about six repetitions each side here, guys. That's it, so it's a little bit lower. Lovely, that's it, really squeeze at the top of the motion, really work the arms. Excellent, looking good. That's it, Jay, come down nice and low for me. Really work those biceps. When we get to 12, we'll relax. Okay, so don't forget, breathe in, breathe out as you curl up. Good. You should form a dance group, you two. You're perfectly in sync. That's good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, guys, grab in your Swiss balls. We're going to go and do a half push up, like so. So, if you join me down on the mat, keeping your feet on the floor, we're going to perform a push up, like so. Okay, the key thing is to try and keep good spine alignment on this, guys. Don't be too hunched over, too bent in. Just trying to keep that nice, neutral spine. Right, okay, mate. So, if you want to incorporate more abs, guys, you can actually pull the ball further away. That really stretch your abs and really feel that along, along your abdominals. But those of you who want to emphasize more on the chest and the back of the arms, just keeping the position JR is, is a good place to start. Okay, does that feel pretty unstable? Very. <laughs> Good. So draw your belly buttons in guys, get those core muscles activated to help support and stabilise you throughout this movement. As I can assure you, this ball is not stable. Good. Real great upper body exercise, also core stability as well incorporated. I'm going to go for around about six to ten repetitions. That's it, Suze. Excellent. If you start to feel your form going, guys, have a little rest and go back to it. Alternatively, get the ball out of the way and carry on doing half push-ups on the floor where it's stable and safe. Good stuff. Okay, guys, for our next one, keeping the um, Swiss balls out, we're just going to go and do some shoulder presses. If you'd like to grab your weight plates as well. Holding the weight plates like so, fingers and thumbs through. We're going to put our hands to 90 degrees, to right angles, and perform a press. So breathing in on the way down and breathing out as you push up. 
Just make sure the weight stays in that play. Make sure they don't drop forward or excessively backwards. Just nice and balanced here. Okay. All right, guys. KJ, coming up from there, making the weights meet in the middle and lowering down. All right, a little bit of air there. Good. That's it. If you're starting to feel this, guys, you can do little half repetitions. Alternatively, have a break. You can also go in and maybe do some bicep curls as well to take the weight off your shoulders for a while and then return back to the shoulder press. All right, so we're going for around 12 to 15 repetitions. You reached 100 yet, Suze? Not quite. Okay, so just try and keep it a little bit more narrow if you can when you come down. That's it there. You don't want to go any further out than that, guys. Just keep it in a nice, clean plane of movement. Excellent, fantastic. Okay, guys, keeping with the weights, we can lose the Swiss balls. And to go into a bent over row with a reverse fly. So we're incorporating two really key exercises here in the one movement. So we're going to go into this position, bent over row, rowing up, coming down, and then lifting. Okay. Yes, maybe it's good to put the balls back first, guys, and then we'll crack on with the weights. This really is a great exercise, this one, guys. It's working all of the back muscles, but also working all of the shoulder muscles as well. So really encompassing all of the upper body, key postural muscles. Okay, slight bend in the knee, come right the way over. So Jail goes right the way forward. Try and mimic that if you can. Okay, so first of all, we're going to pull on the row, keeping the elbows nice and tight in. Come back down, and then firing from here, really squeezing the shoulder blades together. Excellent. We're going to do 12, six rows and six reverse flies. That's it coming up. Just go as high as you can, guys. You don't want to be going any higher than that. That's perfect. But don't worry if you can't get all the way up there. You can alternatively use some lighter weights or mimic the movement without weights as well. You can just do a little hold, maybe hold for five seconds or so, and then return back down. Okay, Sue, so that's it, rowing up, just keep those elbows in, and then really squeeze the muscles between the shoulder blades at the top of the movement, turning back down. Good job, fantastic. Okay guys, we're gonna go back to the flexi bar, so if you'd like to drop your weight plates and grab your flexi bar, it's gonna take you back through that circuit. So just to recap, hands together, and then we're gonna go into a squat, really sit deep back into it, like so, and flex from here. Okay, grab your bars, let's go. All right, see, so hands together, bend the knees, and then lean forward. That's it, hands up. See, so you're keeping good alignment there. Eyes down, just let your head go up or to the side. Okay, guys, set your clocks, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds from now. Excellent. Now you may feel, guys, your legs wanting to slowly lift you back up. Try and resist that as much as you can. Try and hold in that nice position there. So all of your stable muscles are switching on to help keep you in that position. All of your global muscles, your quads, your back, your glutes, they're all working very, very hard. Excellent, Jay. And five more seconds, everyone. Almost there. And that's it, relax. Good. Let the bar come to a standstill, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Let the steam subside, and then relax. Good stuff. So grabbing your weight plates, guys. You can use the flexi bars now. Just going to go back into the side lunge with bicep curl. Again, holding the weight like so. Fingers and thumbs through. We're going to start in the middle, and we're going to lunge to the right. Knee over the toes, curl, and then over to the other side. Make sure the knees are over the toes and the foot will stay, stay straight. Nice squeeze at the top of the movement and back. Let's give it a go. Six each side. All right, sis. So take a nice little side step for me. That's it, keeping upright, curl. 
Really important guys, chest out, shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Also the biceps as well at the top of the movement. It's really key guys that the elbows go all the way down to fully lock and then come all the way up. So you're making the muscle as long as you can and then as short as you can. Get in full range. CJ, that's it, come as high as you possibly can. Those muscles working right away up, little squeeze, good. You can just lift your head slightly as well, that's it, keeping everything nice and in line, that's perfect. The ear should fall more or less over the shoulder. Excellent. And for around about six repetitions each side, guys. Really starting to feel the arms burn and legs burn this time around now, I'm sure. Okay, you two are nicely in sync still. Okay, that's it, see, a little hold, and come back down. Okay, fantastic, grabbing your Swiss balls, guys. Just gonna go back to the half push-up, which looked like this. Okay hey guys, the key is your back's really going to want to dip in, just push your pelvis backwards, draw your abdominals in, so your belly button towards your spine, that will really help the pelvis so it doesn't move. Okay, cool. Ball's trying to run away from me. Right, okay. That's it, so stepping back, clasping your hands there like so. When you're ready, breathe in, come down, breathe out, push up. That's it, so we're keeping the hands on the outer aspect of the ball, as JR's doing so here. Dropping down nice and low, and then pushing up and holding momentarily at the top. Really is a great all round upper body and core movement, this one. Gear J, so we're going for around six to 10 repetitions. I'm starting to wobble a bit more now. Hands keep slipping. Oh, today. <laughs> so adjust your grip if you need to, guys. That's it. The more narrow you go, the more the back of the arm you incorporate, the wider you go, the more chest you will get as well. Brilliant, Suze. Well done. Well done, everyone. Fantastic. Okay, guys, the next one we're going to do, we're going to keep the Swiss ball out. Hopefully yours doesn't wander about as much as mine does. And we're going to grab the weight plates. So again, put in your hands like so. And go into this position here, breathe in, and as we breathe out, we're going to lift the weights above our head. That's it, taking the weights in together, and returning back down nice and slowly, keeping with that 2 2 tempo, two seconds up, two seconds down. Okay. Okay, Jay, so one weight back, that's it, and the other. And from here, lifting from the elbows, pushing up, a little squeeze in the middle, turning back down to there, that's good, keeping the head nice and aligned. Try and not slouch, as tempting as it may be to do this, keep nice and upright, really over accentuate your posture, and draw the belly button slightly in as well. Good, Suze, that's it, breathing in on the way down, breathing out as you push up. That's it. Just going for around about 12 to 15 repetitions. That's it, so it's coming down. A little squeeze in the middle. I reckon we're about one more session away from you moving on to these green weights here, so you know, the medium yeah. ones. <laughs> I reckon you're hustling me a little bit. Fantastic, just keep that nice smooth arc, that's it. I'm gonna have to get some bigger ones for you as well. Good stuff, fantastic, well done everyone. We're just gonna get the um, weight plate so we can get rid of the Swiss balls and perform the bent over row and the reverse fly one last time. Again, keeping this grip here, like so. We're gonna bend the knees, bow forward, and perform the row. Okay, grab your weights, give it a go. Right, 
Suze. There you go. Thank you. All right, cool. So if you bend down for me, bow forward. And just gonna go for a little row. Keep the elbows as close as we can, guys. Don't let them drift out. Just keep them nice and tight, like so. Good, Suze. And then raise up for me. Going for around about six repetitions in each exercise, guys. So 12 in total. A little squeeze, that's it. Those of you finding it a bit easy, if you can pause at the top of the movement, or alternatively use the bigger weights. And don't hold your breath, guys. Keep breathing, breathing in, breathing out as you lift. Excellent, Jay. See Jay asked further forward there. If you can get that far forward, guys, try and get into that position. Those of you who are less flexible, you can keep upright, still fine. Little squeeze. When we get to 12, you'll be delighted to know you can all stop. Good man, excellent. How'd that feel? Yeah, good, very good for my back. Yeah, you feel yourself coming more and more upright with each repetition. Standing taller. Standing taller already. Good job. Okay, guys, so you can put your weight plates down now. We're going to move on to our CV section.